Ah, wazi wazi. Asante sana. Asante sana for joining us for another classic episode of the Wicked Edition. I'm your host Dr. Kingori. Leo acheni niambie ukweli maze um a secret to this show that uh, we have never shared with you. This show exists because there has never been a dull moment in Kenya. I can't even wait to get to the video of uh, Governor Sakaja advising thieves. Meyona. So much to unpack there, but first, uh, fish farmers in Kisumu are decrying losses because fish in Lake Victoria are, de uh, are dying of suffocation. I find this story very confusing because my basic understanding of fishing is exactly what the farmers, the fish farmers are complaining about. Killing fish by denying it oxygen. Isn't that the reason Samaki utolewa komaji? So basically the farmers don't want the fish to die by themselves. They want to take responsibility. <laughs> Into the latest version ya ile mim ya mayuthu walipea muizi energy drink diyo apate nguvu wa mpigetena. <laughs> In other news, uh, during the opening of a new branch, the Quiver Launch made headlines after videos of a priest blessing the, the new premises emerged. video ni what was the prayer item on this one? More customers? More converts? I'm asking this in good faith and as a confused person because the people who are doing this, uh, your blessing, your prayers, come from the same team as they that hit us with this one. Koyo blessing ya kuiva DJ ange make mistake ya kuplay ingoma. <coughs> anyway, don't get me wrong. Sijasema kuna ubaya kubariki maji kabla watu wakunywe. <laughs> <laughs> however, if you look, uh, however way you look at it, mchungaji was still in the service to the most high. Now, speaking of the most high, <laughs> this week Twitter verified their account at Jesus Christ. Social media val validation just went to a whole new level. Twitter must have realized that many people on the platform have been following the wrong Jesus. <laughs> anyway, to more good news, uh, petrol prices have dropped by one shilling again. And pundits now, how many pundits, now claim that they can predict that if this trend continues, the Kenya Kwanza government is going to fulfill their promise of reducing the cost of living by 2029, where fuel will have dropped by 93 to 93 shillings per liter. <laughs> if this trend continues uh, dropping by one shilling uh, per month, by the year 2036, one liter of petrol will now be going for the one shilling per liter. <laughs> And I'm sure people will still be complaining them. Ah, it's a car, it's a tumaliza. Mafuta ijakuwa bure bado. And speaking of Kenyans and complaints, uh, following the rise in cases of insecurity in Nairobi and other urban centers, the interior CS uh, Kithure Kendiki came out to issue a warning to the thugs. But instead of Kenyans focusing on his strong message, they decided to focus on his soft voice. These marauding guns of few citizens have dared the government of the Republic of Kenya. And the message they have been trying to send has reached us. We have heard them. We are coming for you effective immediately. CS Alisema Pua Sana. We have heard you and we are coming for you. Haters wana sema wezi wana share hiyo press conference among his teacher that come a poem. Atiwe budo umesikio spoken wadi ya kindiki. Kwa ni wezi wana faa kuongeleshu waji? Crimes of it. Ata kama ni kunoma watu kwa kwa dimanga. Mutu pati time? Kwa dimanga. Kwa dimanga. Si muli tupati ya kazi? Odo. Muli tupati ya kazi? Si ita washikilia. Lakini hiyo ya kupigwa watu nyongo lo na nini? Eh, na mangeta. Na, na, na mkishiko msinipigie. Tuita kwa ninoma. Sawa sawa. Mwache kuniangusha. Now my highlight uh, kwa hiyo clip was the response after Governor Sakaja aliambia mavijana wakishikwa wasimkol. Na, na mkishiko msinipigie. Tuita kwa ninoma. Sawa sawa. Mwache kuniangusha. That is probably the most bold statement nimesikia lately. What do you mean amutashikwa? 
But then again, watamkolaje na crime ikifika hiyo level hata yeye atakuwa na simu. <laughs> uh, back to CS Kindiki. I do not agree with the hitter's perspective that CS Kindiki's voice does not sound scary enough. Remember ile experience in fact remember experience ya CS Kindiki ya kutuliza ngori ilianzia bombers. Wacha. 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 But with that work on the security situation unapata msia na kipigwa ngeto unamwambia wacha wacha <laughs> <laughs> Now a friend of mine actually sent me this video of a senior police officer offering a solution to the situation Come on to see this is me you are said that person as you wait for the police Ready? Kama baada ni mtu ameufanya kitendo tunasema hot person amedunga mtu Bado the incident is still fresh. Who your mutu awawe. Nani nasema awawe. That is the proper interpretation of the law. Now this clip has received mixed reactions and that is the subject of our episode. One of our guests is making a name for himself on the interwebs as the truth watchdog by giving advice to Kenyans on how to stay vigilant. Mina penda kwa pa ukweli kadawa mkipenda mnaweza imeza mkitema bado tuna force mna imeza mnaishi nayo. Na usikizeni hapa hivi. Mayuti yani sijui ni nini ime go mad bana. Kuibiwa kuibiana imekuwa ni kitu common sana which is now being normalized. But now the abnormally is also coming up. Wase sasa wanachinja wase wana kuchinja in day broad daylight. Unakata kwa toma kisu na pigo marisasi mchana. Tao, CBD, City Center, yani hey, hey. Our other guest is George Musamali, a friend of the show and a former GSU officer, now a security consultant who some of you may know for this. The GSU's part is a formation in the police. Mm -hmm. And uh, the GSU is actually the tactical wing of the police. Yes. So when you get into the GSU, there's a contract between you and the government and the police. Yes. That you're only supposed to serve in the GSU for six years. Six years. Six only. years. Why yes. do they do that? Uh -huh. From the age of 18 wakati umeandikwa mimi niliandikwa nikiwa na miaka 18 to 6 years utakuwa umefika miaka ngapi 24 24 yes 24 this is the age where now you start thinking rationally unasema sasa nataka ku settle down nataka kuoa bibi uh -huh. you want to become a parent mtu kama huyo ukimtuma kwa riot hatafanya kazi ukimpeleka for online hatafanya kazi we need young men who don't think mm. <laughs> Ah, director di director yetu Jackson anasema na umenona from that clip. Aya, <laughs> ah, we have the truth watch dog and George Musamali on the other end of this short commercial break to chambuei maneno kwa undani. See you guys in a bit. You will black out yes, but you will not get good quality sleep. There are some people who actually out. need alcohol to fall asleep. So, that's why your testicles will be smaller. You've seen someone with an Adam's apple? Ah yes, it falls under your category. Yes. If someone gets punched in the Adam apple, mm -hmm. Rafa Inezi, they swallow it. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to the Wicked Edition. I'm your host, Dr. Kingori. Conversation yetu ya leo ni ya security. Everyone is talking about that, uh, the rise of insecurity in the country. Our two guests, uh, one of them is a self-made uh, security consultant, and it was Mr. McLeod, Nam Nam Juakama, the truth watchdog, is in the house. Ah, waji. Waji. Asante sana. Alafu, guest wetu wa pili, uh, nimesema is a friend of the show. Third time appearing, na is always peer good vibes. Uh, former GSU officer, now a security consultant. George Musamali is in the house. <laughs> <laughs> sawa, sawa. Karibu sana. Uh, Ntanza na wewe, uh, Mr. McLeod. Uh, I think ni poa sana kwenda straight to the point. Ume sensitize wasi sana juu ya story ya Ngeta. Ume kuongelea pande zote mbili. Kuongelea saidi ya Makarao na kuongelea saidi ya Mathegi. What inspired you? Because aunikali victim wa Ngeta. Tulikiongea na... <laughs> Tukiongea tukiongea na audience wetu eh, before walikuwa nasema atisijui kuna vile wewe kambao kwa mkono wanafinya nayo mtu shingo nimeangalia shingo yako sio ni spesi ambao uh, nimezaliwa kwa ngeta wacha tuseme hivyo because uh, unajua neba wako ni mwizi ukiwa mtu mdogo alafu na kama una grow mnaanza mpaka kuiba na yeka amezeeka sasa ndo nakuwa mtu wa mkono okay so mtu wa mkono literally 
<laughs> yeah, yes, so yeah. uh, but at the same time unajua kuna zile vitu zenye unafika mahali hata kama binadamu unaona hii manzee pale imefika sasa hii ni mbaya unakosea then uh, pia kulikuwa na rende flani tulikuwa naitaka kitambo sana 42 brothers then your rende pia nilikam nikakuwa driver wa mathegi ju ulikuwa sasa ukitaka kushika gun ndio upate hiyo chance ya kushika ama hata kuona gun lazima uanze uko chini uwezi uwezi uwa mse auwezi auwezi enda kuiba solo lazima ukuwe na wazae lakini si eti ni wazae ma yote wa big kutushinda so by then ilikuwa ga, i think i was 12 years nikianza sasa mradi tulikuwa naenda kuiba pale flani hapo hivyo adam sakedo ukifika ukipika ina, inaitwa jamu jamu iko hapo tu nyuma kiasi so hizo ndio base tulikuwa naanziaga but me ilikuwa tu driver then uh, ika grow nikajua wizi like nobody's business because at the end of the day ulikuwa kipatiwa sema so mbili hiyo ilikuwa the mob nda watch movie nda kula ngumu uh, kulikuwa na donald's tungine hapo alafu naweza kula pia chama ya 10 bob na watch <laughs> yani hiyo 200 ilikuwa the mob ilikuwa the mob so ilifika place yenye nilikuwa na chiki sasa wase wanaanza kuondolewa unaona moja moja by then kulikuwa gana ma ilikuwa inaitwa flying squad ama ilikuwa gana walikuwa nakuja na utu tu volkswagen twa yelo eh kwanza gatio gari mepita pa 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 vijana kichungi eh hapo mimi nikaponea siku moja walikuwa na shoot msi akiwa in the act ama bora tu unaka asa kuanga na oni walikuwa sha, yani before wa come washa survey hiyo <coughs> area wanajua mko ngapi mnaka migi saa ngapi na wana kama wanawaletea bait bait ilikuwa kama demo unajua bait uh, demo kibeba tu kibait hivyo napima unajua hii ni coffee coffee demo anapiga nduru by the time anapiga nduru simu na kibeti imeondokea unaona So, eh hey, ni mlikuwa mnaibia madem na coffee but si ile wanapenda. <laughs> hmm. Ah coffee moja bro si ile ya uchungu yani ile. Inapimwa. Kuna ah, yote. Kuna kuna mwanamke hiyo ufungui mkono. Lakini <laughs> 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 kuna mwanaume. Na una mchapa masikio anasikia mastaa. Kuna ka sauti yoka anatoka ti. Ako mwanaume anaropoka kila kitu mpaka jina yake aine yenye joy. <laughs> but ilifika two place nikaanza kuona venya sana angushwa. Eni kajua tu next ni mimi. Jua sasa walikuwa nakuja. Sema umelipuliwa moja kama ambavyo hivi. Alafu ana kama anasiki. By the way amekugonga kuna kitu naweza do. Unaongeza wazi ngine ka ine. Na bado mlikuwa mnaona hizo na bado unarudi miradi tena. Sasa si pesa. Unajua pesa kwa nakasha tani fulani. Nakwambia kana nje bro leo tu hawezi dead. Ka huko dead jana leo hizi. So unasikia tu acha nijaribu tena. But ilifika two place I think by 14 kimaliza uh, class 8 ndio boda ni chujanga ali kama kajua mimi niko na mathegi kwanza akaenda nikaikoa kwa gazeti at wanted mwanzo na sio mimi nilikuwa natafuta hiyo time ni mzee mwingine alikuwa anaitwa Ibra eh kuangalia kwa gazeti na ambao online wewe kuna position mbili za kuwepo ukiwa thegi either uende ndonyo ama uende moya ndonyo ni wapi ndonyo ni gazeti okay so hizo places kuna kwa gana place unakuja tu unajifanya wewe ni, ni boy boy unataka job kama kuchunga ngombe ama kuchunga nini field ya mchele uko hivyo utafutwagi lakini ungekuwa hapa mjini hasa walikuwa na kusmoke hata ujificha wapi hata uende area code gani unajulikana ati uko ujulikani we ni msimpoa <coughs> watakupata huko unapata na unapigwa si eti yo hakuna kuwekwa hata yote basi george i shared with you a video ya senior police officer akisema the solution ya ku solve crime hizo uh, sema kama angeta nini ni, ku, ni kupiga watu risasi But as a security consultant you would hold a different opinion. Kama unasikia <coughs> eh, truth watch dog akisema ati alikuwa anaona mtu anapigwa risasi na bado kesho ataenda mradi. Is that really a solution? Ako kweli uh, ni lazima tuangalie historia. Where did we start? Unajua stories of extrajudicial killings people are talking about them lakini hawajui historia hii mambo yalianza wapi. Uh-huh. Na hii mambo ilianza kitambo 76. Kulikuwa na msel toka Uganda anaitwa Patrick Walimbwa. Uganda had a special force or a special unit before Kenya. So when Amin was toppled, Patrick Walimbwa alikuwa kwa ile ilikuwa inaitwa SRB, State Research Bureau, kule. Ndio kama SSU yetu. Akavuka Kenya na bunduki zake na kikosi chake. Walianza kuangaisha watu from Busia to Nairobi. That time. Na I remember nikiwa bado kijana mdogo, <coughs> waliua a forester pale inaitwa Tarbo in Eldoret. Na by the time police wana assemble waende kule wamefika Eldoret wameua muindi anaitwa Sagu so ka, in that process mmoja walipigwa risasi na kauliza wale makarao mnyimbe nipiga mimi mmepata Patrick 
wakauliza Patrick nani akawaambia anaitwa Patrick Walimbwa now when they did their research or realize kwamba huyu ni hatari haezi patikana so Rift Valley PPO had to assemble police from all stations kuja Eldoret kuinda Patrick Walimbwa one man one man na wakati hiyo ndio nilisikia bunduki inaitwa <coughs> Scorpion made in Czechoslovakia mm -hmm. kumara ya kwanza hata wa Kenya walikuwa polisi wa Kenya walikuwa wanatembeanga na zile za mbao wakati huo how do you face such a person okay. alikuja kauzwa na akauzwa na demo hapa Kangemi akauzwa Patrick Show ndio Patrick Show akamua that is the history of extrajudicial killings in Kenya ikaja mjamaa anaitwa Wakinyonga akapigwa Kenyata mwenyewe Kenyata one alitangaza akasema mwizi wa benki wakati huo kina kina huyu aliandika my life in crime kina kiria miti yeah. walikuwa wamezidi akasema mwizi wa benki akipatikana apigwe risasi waona tukavuka mimi nikaandikwa kwa kikosi 1990 tukiwa pale Ruaraka asubuhi tunapata barua imeandikwa imetupwa kwa gate nasemekana kuna maafisa wanne wa hame Nairobi nani wameandika washosho wanugu na rasta wamewapea warning warning wa hame <laughs> It was that serious. Yeah. Now katika ile mambo ya kujipanga panga hii tutakabiliana na wajamaa vipi? Squad kaya jamaa ilipigiwa mlango kubwa. Squad kaya wale jamaa walikuwa wametajwa wanne, mmoja alikubali kwenda. Siwezi taja jina lake alisema yeah. ah hii Nairobi kama ni hivi acha mimi nihame. Mhm. Uh -huh. Akaondolewa. The other three, as we speak they are nursing gunshot wounds. Gari ilipigwa risasi pale <coughs> mlango kubwa ndio kaonekana hapana. The thugs want makarao wahamishwe. Wow. GSU hata si makarao kawaida rec company in fact. Na vile hawakuhamishwa wakawapigia hapo. Waliwapigia mlango kubwa ambush. Uh -huh. Wali survive. Ndio ikatangazwa ikasemekana now dead or alive tunataka rasta wanugu na washosho. Hapo ndio tukaanzisha sasa flying squad. Na tukuanzisha na makarao kawaida tulitoa watu rec company. Kuwinda wale wasi and i remember sometimes nikiwa training nikaenda magadi tukiwa mahali naitwa kiseria tuko mahali tunajivinjari tuna haja jamaa wakaingia sisi wenyewe tulitoroka you admit that mlitoka mbio tulitoka mbio tulitokea mlango wa nyuma tukaenda because sasa wametupata sisi tuko tu na wakituangalia macho ilipoonana hivi tukajua wamegundua sisi ni nani na mnajua na mnajua na ukiangalia tu unajua hawa na sisi tulipoona tukajua si ndio huyu ule wanted. Wakati walipiga kona sisi pia tukapiga kona. Hatungekubali okay. hiyo maneno. It was that serious. <coughs> so when we talk about extrajudicial killing lazima tuipatie tuiangalie in three angles. One kuna use. Manake kama vile huyu anasema hawa vijana haungeweza kuwakamata. Wanugu hangeweza kukamatika. Washosho hangeweza kukamatika. So we need to use a special force to deal with that. Number two, misuse. Ambayo ndio tunazungumzia sasa. Alafu kuna ile abuse. Wale jamaa wakifika pale sasa inakuwa hasa wao they become a law unto themselves. They do what they want. Ndio unasikia huyu anakuambia walikuwa kikuja hawakupei nafasi. Unapigwa umelala chini umekuwa disarmed lakini they still come and eliminate you. Hiyo ndio inakuwa inakuwa inaleta shida sasa. Kwa hivyo hii sheria it's there it's, it's governed because the law is very clear. What we call uh, kwa, kwa sheria Criminal Procedure Code CPC unaambiwa justifiable instances of using a firearm moja ni gani ni lazima Lakini uelewe wezi hawana justifiable use wezi of... hawana justifiable maana yake akikupata basi atakupata <coughs> uki resist ndio hivyo unasikia kuna kofi mara mbili yes. mimi nikipewa hiyo moja peke yake <laughs> hata hiyo ndogo <laughs> <laughs> you are just being polite but <laughs> but uh, what's the feeling ya uh, number one, na ndeza penda kujua feeling ya unatafutwa na polisi uh, na wako trained na wewe hauko trained but utamanuva but most importantly before utujibu hiyo right <coughs> uh, in, uh, kwa, kwa, kwa vile umeamua sahi una, wewe unajua si inside out saingine hata kuna video nikuwa naona un, umepiga picha unasema huyu ni mwizi huyu ni mwizi na huyu ni mwizi uneza wa map out right uh, mm. by kuwaribu trades za business aren't you a target uh, if I'm only one soul that is a target, and then we save 40 million Kenyans, come and shoot me. Bro, how does it feel to wake up in the morning afraid of your life that you might not go back to your wife? Okay. So where is the fear? Is it the fear in this one soul, 
or the fear of the nation. We have to see the bigger picture here. Hakuna freedom will come free. You have to pay a price. And if I'm that price, then I'm serving my plate. Okay? Because uh, I want to come out of my house and I want to know that my child knows my dad is going to work. And he will come back. So that is what we have to see. Like, how many Kenyans will we sacrifice in the name of police watafanya kazi? Okay. Na sisi tunaangalia wanyo wanaibiwa. Mwenye anaibiana, unamtu wanajua kwa ke. Tuzidanganye. Anajua familia hake. Officer wanazunguka huko kitafta huu msee. Wasa, hey, huu msee, unajua ukitaka huko. Kama utaki huu msee ya kufanya mbaya. Kwa beshti ya muizi, bro. Hakuna siku hile muizi ya taiku wa beshti yako. Yo usi ya idanganyo. Hata hiri officer kuitisha miambili ya kuhui. Unawana? Uja mata kuitisha miambili na kuhui. <coughs> so, what is costly? Okay. Going the way of the police, ama going the way of the thieves. Good point. Na umesema ati mtu wa narudi home na Max Zameno. Just clarify. Yes. Kuna wezi wa... <laughs> Kuna wezi wa naibana meno. Hata like, nikona, unona hii? Like, hauna sila ingine, hauna kisu, hauna nini ya hii. As in. <laughs> unona kama hii. Hii yeah. ili ya pengedho. Nilikuwa gana kale katululuka. Kalikuwa gana ituwa gasagem. Kama muna kakumbuka. Mm -hmm. So hile nye, unajua ulikuwa na chatingi za zingine. Kisha shika nisha haka kasimu. Hato ulikuwa na chat kama wangali. Junajuezo buttons pali zote ziko. Na kila button ni kona sound statue. Kama abu ku. Alafu hapa ni du. So, una, una chaza but then, uh, nikiwa together hapo kwa roundabout, hii jamaka kama ka grab. Ku grab, unajua sa wazilu kwa, kwa kasimi hivi, ni kachilia, kakangu kachini. Kwa mkachini, uja maka jam. Manjana kwa mbele ni umaka dogi. Unawana? Uyu wali decide. Kama hata enda na hiyo simu, na wea uta hii chat. <laughs> <laughs> Is it justified for someone to steal because they don't have food? Ama is that a factor in a kwa considered kwa security? Kwa kweli, in law it's not considered. The end does not justify the means. Sure. Kwa hivyo kama we ni mualifu, wewe ni mualifu. Na ukipatikana, watu waneza diya ndawe kisheria, na saizi wa Kenya malo umefika ile feeling wakonayo, ni mob injustice. Nothing is justifiable. Manake, si mimi na amuka naenda, natoka inje, naenda na hustle, natafutia mtoto wangu. Wewe umeketi uko, umekula jaba, Una niongojea. <laughs> Mimi ni kuje ukisema joo ndi ule. Yeah? Uniangukie. I, I mean, I'm talking about things that I've seen. I can yeah. talk about people that have lost their lives. Kopro Turunya, alipigwa risasi hapa town. Yeah? Kuna musime, alipigwa risasi hapa Helsalasi Avenue. People, wale ya ni, musime metoka job, metoka subui, minasema, ah, wameenda job. Jio ni hawarudi. Ile kitu mnakuja, tukua na somewanga signal. So and so. Circumstances, easy. Serone, he was shot six times. Hapa buru. Elewa. Kwa hivyo hakuna jinsi hili tuneza sema crime can be justified. In whatever sense. Na ndi kwa sababu kule, uh, kule, kule New York, 1984, mea alisema akona broken window policy. Kwamba mtoto akivunja glass kwa nyumba ama mevunja kio, ule ni mwalifu. Deal na ee. Nafikiri mefika wakati hapa Kenya vile arasema tukue na broken window policy. Ya kwamba hatuwezi kubali walifu kwa yeah. vyote vile. Maze, I wish he conversation is endelea sana. Uneza follow the truth watchdog on Twitter, uh, on TikTok. He's very vocal on social media ku, ex, ku explain this of it zote. And uh, George Musamali, uh, you can follow him on Twitter. He's also very vocal. And in fact, across all the social media platforms, we cannot exhaust all this information, but you can reach out to them through those platforms. Truth Watchdog, pale TikTok, you're big on TikTok. Uh, and I believe these are platforms again. Musamali, George, uh, on nini, <coughs> on uh, Twitter, Pia Sana Sana, and all the other platforms. Wameweza, sindio? Wapi makofi yao? Right. That's it for the weekend edition. See you next week. My name is Dr. Kingori.